bustling through the morning mist on what had to be the year's most unusual mercy mission, the capture and transfer of four five-month-old cygnets from this rapidly disappearing puddle of water, which in wintertime is a full-blown lake. For years, the men of Al near Westport had looked on in horror as marauding foxes killed successive generations of young swans, as the water level of this so-called disappearing lake or thurlock all but vanished. This year, however, they decided to cheat the foxes and move the young cygnets to a larger lake some miles away. Well, the foxes have killed them here every year. You know, for years, over the last, how long? 20, 30 years, Pat. That's right, yeah. And all that we've seen survive was what? And, uh, you know, in, in the, you could go around three or four days' time, or you'll get his patches of feathers all over the place in the bone sale. But the dramatic early morning rescue mission and a quick, if somewhat unorthodox, trip across country to Island Edie Lake, some six miles away, ensure that this year's crop of young cygnets would not make a tasty breakfast for the prowling foxes of Al.